Flucloxacillin is a antibiotic that's used to treat common um, infections such as infections of the skin, um, the bone, but also sometimes of the respiratory tract, i.e. the chest and sometimes the heart too. It's a very good antibiotic uh, and it has a good range of action, particularly against certain antibiotics that cause infections in these parts of the body. It is a penicillin and that means that if you are penicillin allergic, you will be allergic to, to flucloxacillin as well uh, and that's an important note. Um, so you should avoid this drug if you've been diagnosed as allergic to penicillins. In terms of its administration, flucloxacillin is given four times per day usually, although this can change in, in certain circumstances. Uh, the dose that's given is actually dependent upon the age or weight of the child uh, and your paediatrician or GP will calculate the right dose for your child and it's important that you adhere to that. Parents often wonder what to do if a child vomits a dose of uh, flucloxacillin. Um, a simple rule of thumb is that if they vomit within 30 minutes of being given a dose then you should repeat it and perhaps give it more slowly so that you try and minimise the risk of them vomiting again. If, however, more than 30, 30 minutes have passed, then you should assume that the drug's been absorbed and not repeat the dose. How about side effects? Well, flucloxacillin can cause minor side effects uh, such as uh, gastrointestinal upset, um, and by that I mean stomach upset or diarrhoea. However, these are usually short-lived and uh, usually pass fairly quickly. Um, if it persists or it's severe in nature, then you should seek medical help. More significant side effects include allergic effects such as skin rash or itching, shortness of breath or wheeze, and uh, if more severe, su uh, issues such as face, lip or tongue swelling. And particularly in the latter uh, situations, you should either take your child to hospital or call an ambulance if it's very severe.